Well, it is a historic day, everybody. The U.S. is returning to Cuban spaceflight as SpaceX and NASA prepare to launch two astronauts to the International Space Station. Crew Dragon will lift off on a Falcon 9 rocket from the Kennedy Space Center this afternoon if weather doesn't get in the way. Let's just keep our fingers, fingers crossed. crossed. Ari Taiha joins us now from SpaceX and Hawthorne, their headquarters, to give us all the exciting news. Hi there, Itai. Hello, Giselle. Good morning. Yes, we're right outside their headquarters. This is the Falcon 9, the first booster rocket to return to Earth intact for further reuse. It's 162 feet. Now, back in 2011, NASA retired its space shuttle fleet, essentially relying on the Russians to take its astronauts into orbit. Now, since the Russians were the only ones doing it, they were able to charge NASA about $80 million per ticket. Since then, NASA has awarded some hefty contracts to private company to try and find another way. Two of those companies made the cut, Boeing and SpaceX. Today is SpaceX's turn to show NASA what they've got and to say that there's a lot of SoCal enthusiasts here excited is about the biggest understatement of the year. A lot of kids dream of being an astronaut, but few are as committed as Terry Howard. The mysteries in space uh, caught my eye and kept me, has kept me going. A member of the Barbosa Space Center, a highly competitive program in Long Beach, Terry can assemble and program a laptop in 90 minutes, an essential skill if you ever have to deliver computer parts to the International Space Station. You have to be very precise in everything that you do or else it just won't work and you just be there for hours frustrated. He also knows how to grow different kinds of lettuce suited for deep space cuisine. Ultimately, the goal is to see how much of these will feed one person if they were supposed to go on a trip to Mars. Ignition. So when he heard that NASA and SpaceX were launching astronauts into space from U.S. soil for the first time in almost a decade, he was over the moon. Just to think how they're crossing through the different layers in our atmosphere and space is just something I can't really put into words. On Wednesday, veteran NASA astronauts Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley will lift off from the Kennedy Space Center in Florida, heading for the International Space Station. It will be the first American manned flight since 2011. The historic launch will also represent one giant leap for commercial space travel, with astronauts blasting into orbit aboard SpaceX's Crew Dragon capsule, a cosmic shift that if successful could usher in a new era in space exploration. The idea of ending a nine-year space drought has Terry walking around with stars in his eyes. And I like to just think about space out and just become one with the stars sometimes. Looking forward to Wednesday's blast off, as well as the launch of his own career. If everything goes right, the Crew Dragon will take off from the Kennedy Space Center at exactly 1.33 p.m. Pacific. Giselle and Melvin, back to you. Woo! Thank you, Itai. It's so inspiring to young people and Absolutely. to kids. They Innovation, want, creativity. Yes. The future That's right. is wide open. Mm -hmm.